next question come again tailed and non tailed okay what a tailed and non tailed recursion let's see uh, what is here we have written uh, we have written a base case and uh, here what we are doing we are performing some uh, operation and we are uh, means we are uh, dividing our problem into the sub problems so for sub problem i'm calling my function again that is the recursion so if i call the function at the bottom if after performing some operation let's say here i'm printing that is my operation if i'm calling that function at the at the bottom side at the last then it will be a tailed recursion and if i'm calling my function uh, before uh, performing any operation it will be a non tailed recursion okay this is a theory question uh, might be you get uh, into some uh, mcq you will get some mcqs only okay so let's make it so what i was discussing about so okay let's uh, move to another question that is a fibonacci series uh, i hope you have already heard about that so uh, what we are going to do we are going to uh, use the we are going to uh, create a fibonacci uh, function using recursion that is going to create uh, that is going to tell uh, a fibonacci number let's see uh, what a fibonacci number uh, let's uh, let me quickly do it let's see uh, if the first term is 1 and the second term is what is the second term that is 1 okay let's see if these two terms are, are the fixed and this third term will be the summation of its uh, two previous term let's say it will be 2 now and now uh, the uh, let's say 1 2 3 and the fourth term will be the summation of its two previous term it will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 and now it will be 5 8 13 and 21 in the same manner okay i hope uh, the fibonacci series is already uh, what fibonacci uh, do is already clear with you so what we are going to do because let's say if i want to know the fibonacci let's say uh, it is position 1 position 2 position 3 4 5 let's say it's fifth term 6 7 and 8 If it is the uh, first, second, third, sixth, and uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, and eighth, eighth term, so if I want to know the Fibonacci series of eighth term, so if I know the Fibonacci series of sixth and seventh term, I can directly get the that Fibonacci series of the uh, Fibonacci number of that eighth term. Okay. So how we are going to do? Uh, we are going to create a Fibonacci function. Let's see. See how. Let's see. Spelling is right. Fibonacci term. So, what I'm going to do? Let's say I'm creating a Fibo function, and I'm passing an integer through it. Let's say I'm passing five. The fifth term is five. If I pass six, I should get eight here. Okay. So if I'm writing in FIBO, if I'm passing a number through it, let's say int number, what what you need to do, what you have to return here. Let's say if I'm looking for the Fibonacci of a number, uh, what I have to return? I have to return Fibonacci of uh, number minus one as well as the Fibonacci of number minus 2. Okay. If I know if I want to know the Fibonacci of number, uh, if I know the number of Fibonacci of number minus 1, number minus 2, I'll definitely get the Fibonacci of that number. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, set a base case. Okay. So uh, how I'm going to set a base case? Let's say if a term uh, comes. Uh, if, because we all know that first term and the second term will be one so let's see if number comes and if it is less than two it is less than two or less than 
is if it is less than two less than or equal to two what you need to return you need to return one okay let's see whether we are getting the correct output or not okay it's saying okay we have not written the correct spelling okay we are getting fibonacci term that is eight okay for six we are getting eight it means we are getting the correct output okay so uh, i have to change my line here So if I'm writing six, so I'm getting eight here. Let's say if I'm writing seven, I should get thirteen. Okay, it means we are getting the correct output. And if I want to, uh, let's say if I'm going to create the call check or the tree for uh, this function, I'm going to do that. Let's remove this. So let's say I want to calculate the Fibonacci of seventh term. Let's say seventh term. So for knowing the Fibonacci of seventh term, what our function is doing, it is checking the Fibonacci of the sixth term first and Fibonacci of the fifth term. Okay. Yes. Uh, number minus one and number minus two. That is fifth. And for uh, before uh, going to uh, before it is going to call for this function. First, it is going to uh, complete this function that is going to call this for fifth again so for doing for sixth function it is going to call if i want to calculate the fibonacci of the sixth term i have to call the call it for five and four okay and again first it is going to complete its task then it is going to come here let's say for five it is saying for five call the function for four call the function for three again in that case call the function for three and two and here what we are doing call the function for two and one because uh, the base case is if i call the function for one and two i'll get one from here so it will return one it will return one so at the three at the position third we are going to get two okay so when it is going to return two again it is going to call uh, again it is going to check what is the second fibonacci term so for two uh, we already know that it is going to return one because it is the base case so if it returns one two plus one that is three so four is going to return three to five okay and if it has completed its task so again what it is going to do it is going to call the fibonacci for three so again what it is going to do it is going to uh, call this function for two and one and because it will return one and one so it is going to return two okay so two plus three five so five is going to return five to eight and for four again it is going to call and again it is going to create uh, the same subtree that we have created here so for five it is going to create uh, it is going to call for three uh, for two uh, for four yes it is going to call for three and two and for three it is going to call for two and one and in the same manner uh, the, the same subtree will be created here because the for five to calculate five we have to call the same function for four three two and one this many times so what we are seeing here uh, can't we use previously calculated yes Ashish, uh, that is the thing uh, i'm going to explain what we can do here uh, as we know that if we have ca already calculated the three the fibonacci of the three so uh, if i need the fibonacci of the three here why why should i calculate it again i can use i can uh, let's say i'm storing somewhere i'm storing it somewhere i can use that thing again and again whenever i need okay let's say if i have created if I have uh, calculated the Fibonacci terms of fifth, I can use that uh, when I need it here. That's okay. 
so uh, it means here we are getting a uh, it will be a time consuming task so what we are going to do we are going to save this uh, let's say the fibonacci term if we if we have calculated something we are going to save it and uh, what we are going to do before calling uh, the fibonacci function for five again first we are going to check whether we have already calculated this or not so for doing that let's say i'm creating an array okay let's see what i'm going to do let me erase this first okay so let's see if i'm creating an array let's see okay array array of size because if it is the fibonacci 7 i should be writing the size 8 because it should be if i'm starting from 1 to 8 1 to 7 uh, either you can start from 0, 0 to 6 you can take the size as 7 so for making it clear i'm writing it array of uh, size 8 i'm creating as array of size 8 and what i'm doing let's see i'm filling all the values in the starting time minus 1 we have already discussed what is the use of mean set function what it do it's just fill our array by what the value we are writing here let's say it is going to fill the value uh, all value in the array is minus 1 and what i'm doing here right now i'm passing my array uh, from this function and i'm going to update this function i'm saying you are getting an array okay you are getting an array so uh, here what i'm going to say if let's say uh, i want to calculate the if i want to get the fibonacci of the number let's say num so what i'm saying if array of num is not equal to, is equal equal to let's say is not equal to minus one. if it is not equal to minus one it means we have already created that uh, we have already uh, calculated that value and we are going to update it uh, down if it is not equal let's say if i'm writing if it is equal equal to minus one if in the starting it will be minus one so i'm going to say that call this function uh, let's say you have to calculate this so what you need to do you have to calculate you have to call this function for num minus one as well as num minus two okay and store this value into let's say a k and what i'm going to say uh, that for k it means if i'm calling for uh, calling this function num minus one and num minus two if i'm adding what will get i'll get the fibonacci term of num okay so for doing that uh, what i'm doing here uh, if i got that number what i'm going to do i'm going to update that in my array let's say array of num is going to get for k okay if it is equal, equal to minus one and the next time let's say if i come uh, if i come somewhere and if it is not equal to minus one then we don't need to let's say you have to if it is equal to minus one and you have updated the array you have to return from here and return the k here okay because we are returning the this number we, because we are already returning this so i'm not doing anything i'm just returning that value but before returning i'm just updating this into my array okay and here what i'm saying if it is equal equal to if it is not equal to minus one then you don't need to calculate this you need you don't need to call this function again what you need to do you just return that value that is there into the array array of num okay so what i'm going to get because if we have already calculated let's say fibonacci the for the fifth term if i need that value here uh, at this point this will uh, in the array array of five will not be minus one so it will have the value of the fifth term so in this case we are not going to uh, create the stacks again we are going to directly use that value okay let's see okay let's see whether we are getting the correct option or not it is saying okay if we have not uh, not passed our array from this so i have to pass my array Sorry, it was ARR. I have to pass that from here as well. Okay. Let's see. 
okay the fibonacci term is 13 we are getting again let's say for 6 it was 8 let's see whether we are getting 8 or not we are getting 8 uh, this time uh, let's say uh, for 5 uh, we have, if we have already calculated for 5 so we are not going to calculate for 5 again so we have used that value here so we have reduced the time complexity and somewhat uh, we have increased the space complexity and we all know that time complexity is more important than the space complexity okay so uh, slightly uh, we have moved to our dp as well because this is the example of the dp this is a simple uh, example of the dp so what we have did here we have just memorized what what the thing we have already calculated we did not uh, calculate it again so uh, let's say uh, this is an example of the dynamic programming as well okay so is it clear now we'll come back to our recursion again we'll be discussing dynamic programming in the upcoming sessions is it clear okay so uh why i'm doing this uh first why i have did it using recursion then uh i have slightly moved to the dp there is a reason because uh if you understand the recursion completely uh in a better form so uh in the future if you are going to get the questions of the dp if you can uh if you can let's say if you can solve that question using recursion uh the you have to you can convert it easily in the dynamic form dynamic programming form it will be very easy we'll be doing some questions in the upcoming session uh you'll be uh fine with it 